Oh, hello, um, viewer, whoever is watching, I want to show you how to play with colors, color grading. Color grading is very, very simple. It's not as difficult as a lot of you think it is. So color grading is just about you understanding and then creating your own. For every image you shoot, there's a picture in your mind. Maybe sometimes you can shoot an image and there is no picture in your head. But while editing, something comes into your mind. Now, if you want to create a color grading for this picture, there are two ways you can do your color grading. Oh, there are several ways you can do the color grading. Sorry, I said two ways. But for this particular one, I want to show you simple things you can do to turn this picture around. The first thing you need to do is you can use your camera raw setting. Camera raw setting is you go to your filter. Camera raw. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Camera raw filter. Okay, blog. Okay. Is that camera raw? I usually use a um, shortcut to go here. So sometimes I don't. Uh, you don't so remember the long process. I use Control sh Shift A to go for the camera raw. Now, if you look at the dominant color here, the color that you may likely be working on here could be just the greens and other things here. So if you want to change this image to make it look, you know, extraordinary, there are things two, two things you can do. The first thing is you can turn off the green you can turn off the green completely turn off the yellow if you turn off the green and turn off the yellow this is what you get as simple as abc now look at it look at the result without any you see turn off the green turn off the yellow turn off the aqua so as i just turn it off now you can see what we have here now look at how the picture is now looking so you can for for beginners you know this is color grading this is good this is good then the next thing you can do is um okay this is number one number one look at it so here we have we have before and after so i'm going to show you the before and the after control j to show you so this is what we get this is the before here is the after so if this is what you are looking for you can get this now second thing you can do using simple you don't need to go get lots and all that you know the second thing you can do to get another kind of color is okay we are going to delete this i'm sure you know about this one now the next thing you can do with the same camera raw is to let's go control shift a so i'm using shortcut to go to the uh, camera raw filter now then i'll now scroll down now we are looking at now this green turning this green to you know something extraordinary like okay let's pop the green by turning up the aqua now we are turning it up now we are turning up the aqua and the green we turn it on there we go to your hue in this your hue now instead of going you you know you look at this you can turn this green on here and then you get but this is going to be too much um, um saturated green so we need to remove the green so turn the green around so this is what we get now you can also go back to your saturation here and then turn off the green a little or turn it on you can see you turn it off a little and then you have another kind of color for this you see that so this is another simple way you can do your color grading using just the camera raw you know it's very very simple you can see that so if this is what we want to just click uh, okay i can turn this on or turn it up so you see the results maybe turn off the yellow a little so yellow won't be too much and then we are you are good the next thing to do too so here we go so this is the new result that we have so if we go back remember this then remember this so this is so now i'm gonna turn this off again and go over to this again to show you another thing you can do with the camera okay control shoot now there's a little thing that a little a lot of us don't understand about photoshop when it comes to you know a little few things you can add to make your image look a little bit different it may not always work for all image 
but you need to know this so i'm going down look at this camera so i'm scrolling down there's something i'm looking for i'm looking for i'm looking for this gain so okay i'm going to this this vignetting vignetting so i'm going to turn this vignetting a little like this if i turn this vignetting a little so a lot of people ask me how do you make your image a little bit darker and all that so i'm going to highlight you know this place you know look at the, the highlight now it's giving the edges of this picture making it a little bit dark then i can change the setting or the roundness the feather midpoint if i want it to be so i can just change the midpoint a little then i can go over to the color and this time around i'm going to go to my hue of the greens and change the aqua i can change the can change this a little go to the blue okay increase this a little go to saturation i'm just playing with the color so you can see what i'm doing so you can try this you can turn it down a little so you see look look at this so i'm not now i'm not increasing the green or reducing it too much so i don't I just brought down the green a little so the green is no longer too much so you can see how the green looks now this is simple camera raw work that you can do with your camera raw filter all right okay thank you